This is a phono preamplifier. It's used to amplify the signal coming from a turntable and amplify it to line level. This particular one seems to have a problem. My friend asked me to have a look at it. When he recently plugged it in, it was very noisy. There was a very loud hum that could be heard through the stereo. So today I'll try to find the source of this hum. The type of noise generated can help us find the source of the noise. So I plug the output of the preamp into the line in of my computer with no input into the preamp and recorded it. And this is how it sounds. People in North America will probably recognize this, this sound. This is a typical hum coming from the power grid. In Canada, uh, the, the AC grid runs at 60 Hertz. And when you rectify that uh, 60 Hertz, you get a 120 Hertz signal and that's exactly how it sounds if we plot the spectrum of the signal we get here the frequency is written here we get a very strong peak at exactly 120 hertz and also we get all the harmonics at 240 360 and so forth this tells us that the noise is probably coming from the AC grid. Uh, it might be picked up by the amplifier itself, uh, acting as an antenna amplifying the noise, or it might be coming from the power supply. Uh, we don't know for sure for now, but uh, uh, at least we know what to look for. Now let's measure this, the noise signal coming out from the, the pre-amplifier. We have no signal coming in, and we just have the output going to this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack with a 10 kilo ohm uh, load on each uh, channel, left and right. We're only gonna measure one of the two channels because there's, uh, they're equal. Uh, so first let's measure the amplitude of the signal. So that's 280 something millivolts. AC, that's a very strong signal. Normally we should get zero millivolt. And with uh, around one volt RMS, we would be peaking the line level. So that's a very strong signal. And if we have a look at the frequency, we get exactly 120 Hertz, just as we have analyzed previously the sound coming uh, from the output. So that's what we get. That's a that's very, very bad. The frequency of the signal we get leads me to believe that this, the noise is coming from the power supply. Uh, another hint is that my friend used, many years ago, this, power su su uh, this pre amplifier with the original power supply, but then he lost it somewhere and he just bought this cheap AC adapter uh, power supply to replace it. And from his memory, with the original power supply, there was no noise. And with this one, there is. So there's a high probability that the noise is coming from the power supply. And just by the weight of it and the size, uh, it's probably not a switch mode power supply. Also, it says that it only supports 120 volts. Um, Whereas switch mode power supply generally can take either 120 or 240 volts. This one can only run 120 to 60 hertz. So it's probably just uh, a transformer with, um, with a full bridge rectifier to generate the DC level. And this is rated 9 volt DC. Um, so we're going to look at the output of this power supply to see if this is the source of the noise. I have plugged in the power supply and we're gonna measure the voltage uh, going out of it to see how it works. So this is just the power supply plugged in um, with no load. So let's measure the DC voltage and it's 11.9, which is very high. It's rated nine volts. So an unloaded voltage of almost 12 volts 
probably means that it's an unregulated power supply, which I didn't even know you could buy. I mean, even old power supplies, I always believed um, that at least there was a linear regulator to control the voltage, it's, or it was regulated in some way. So this probably isn't. So if it's not regulated, this means that there's probably a very high um, 120 hertz ripple in the DC. So if we have a look at the only the 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 AC voltage coming out and unloaded, so I'm using a series capacitor to uh, AC couple the output, and if we measure, it will stabilize at 50 or 60 millivolts of ripple unloaded uh, that's that's a lot so we pretty sh I'm pretty sure now that's that's the source it's the unregulated shitty power supply just for fun I'm gonna load it with some resistors to see how it behaves once it's loaded I have now loaded the power supply with a 300 ohm uh, load and with that we get uh, still 11.56 volt DC which is much higher than the 9 volt it specs and if we measure the ripple now We s it's overloaded. Okay, it's going down. Now we get uh, about 120 millivolt ripple at, I don't know if we can measure the frequency. No, it's my, my multimeter cannot measure the frequency at this level, but still that's, that's a lot of ripple. And I'm quite surprised that this power supply is unregulated. Generally, in audio applications, um, old school power supply with transformers and just uh, a linear regulator is less noisy than a switch mode power supply which switches at high frequency. But this power supply actually probably doesn't have a regulator. So that's, that's probably the source of the noise in the in the preamp like i did with the output of the preamp i recorded the signal the noise generated by the power supply itself so i simply used a 3.5 millimeter jack connected to the output of the power supply uh, ac coupled it to avoid uh, to remove the dc uh, signal and then recorded it with my computer and this is what we get. It sounds very similar to the output of the preamp. In fact, if I unmute, I play only the original sound of the noise coming from the preamp. It's very similar. The preamp, the output of the preamp has more noise because it's amplified, but it's, it's basically the same noise. So let's listen to them back to back. Now the, the output of the preamp and now the output of the power supply. Let's have a look at the spectrum of the output of the power supply. And just like what we had with the Output of the power, uh, the the amplifier, we get a one hundred and twenty hertz signal and its harmonics. And finally, if we have a look at this shape of the signal, uh, they're very very similar. Uh, it's just the the one of out of the the preamp is higher but it's the same shape so that means that the noise come the noise comes from the power supply and gets amplified by 
the amplifier. In conclusion, this preamp is noisy because of this shitty power supply. The preamp picks up the 120Hz ripple generated by the power supply, amplifi amplifies it, and then you can hear it. Now, a good, a very good preamp shouldn't be that much affected by a bad power supply, but a good power supply wouldn't generate the 120 hertz. So in the next video, I'm gonna see if it's possible to keep using these two and just add some kind of filtering to the output of the power supply to make it usable. Um, the easiest solution would be to just buy another shitty preamp co that comes with a power supply, but I'm sure I can make a solution that costs less than the $20 that of buying a new one. So in the next video, um, I'll try to make it work. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.